Hazel Blears has given her very first TV interview since resigning from Cabinet last week. Speaking to Channel M in Manchester this morning, she said she had some regrets. I've thought long and hard about the events that have happened in the last few weeks um, and I have a number of regrets. I think I've certainly um, regret writing in that piece for The Observer um, about the YouTube joke against the Prime Minister. Um, it was thoughtless and it was hurtful and I apologised straight away afterwards to him for it. Um, the second thing that I regret enormously is the timing of my resignation. These are always matters of judgement and I genuinely thought that Jackie Smith had said she was going, Beth Hughes had said she was going and that I could say I was going without it sparking off this huge um, kind of firestorm that, that went on. Um, I think that in hindsight that judgement was wrong. I think the effect on the party um, just before the elections is something that I will you know, regret forever. The third thing that I regret um, is wearing my brooch on the day that I left. And I think that was just because I'd had four weeks of intense media pressure, the like of which I personally had never known, um, on not just me, but my husband, my dad, my family. And at that point, I just had enough, and it was a stupid thing to do uh, in retrospect. Um, but I think it was just kind of putting a brave face on, not going out, you know, cowed and on the basis of expenses claims, which genuinely um, are not true. There you are, the catch in the throat, the tear in the eye. That was just Danny and Kevin watching it. Um, what do you make of that, Kevin? Wow, the mother of all mere culpas. Uh, you know, I knew it was a, a chaotic uh, coup attempt, but uh, you now realise it was you know, people just kind of doing things they didn't, in, didn't intend. It's funny, I heard at the time she regretted the Observer piece, which it didn't mean the way, uh, to come out the way it did, but it did. I couldn't for the life of me understand why she resigned when she did, given she's made loyalty... Her, her touchstone, and then wearing the brooch, which she showed off. I think mm. she was seen going, going in a door and Jackie Smith was coming out and she held up the brooch and, and showed it, a £180 brooch. I didn't understand that, that either. It seemed to be rubbing people's uh, noses in it. And, of course, now the coup has failed. She's got to, she's got to come back, so uh, probably the mere culpa is the way to do it. Well, I mean, it just begs uh, the question, doesn't it? Uh, uh, really sorry or just sorry that it uh, all backfired? I, I was actually moved by that. I thought it was, uh, I thought that it was very genuine and uh, I think she's to be congratulated for being like that because it was very authentic. I'm sure it'll strike a lot of other people like that. You obviously make a lot of decisions very quickly under a lot of pressure in politics and you don't get them all right. It's unusual to have the courage then to say that because normally once you're committed to something you see it through and it would be quite easy for her to say it was a, uh, a cheeky uh, gag and for her to double up on the strategy um, of opposing Gordon Brown even that, if that wasn't the reason why uh, she decided to go. So I've got a lot of admiration for that vulnerability, actually. But can you come back? Can you come back after, you know, if, all right, if you're right and it's, it's bearing your soul, or yeah. if you're right and it's like, oh, that went so horribly wrong, I've got to do something. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Danny would have his, uh, would have his uh, hanky out if, uh, if Gordon Brown had been ousted. We'd have a new Prime Minister. Then I, I suspect she might be uh, smiling like a Cheshire cat behind closed, closed doors. She can't come back this side of an election. If somehow Labour uh, d did win, which is a, an uphill struggle, she possibly could... Uh, Anyone she of could conservative then. inclination would have a hanky out if Gordon Brown was going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, 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 tr the truth is that um, whether or not it was a coup, uh, and it had been intended as a coup, it's very, um, you know, generous and authentic of her to express herself in that way. She and lost, if we can't, yeah. and if we can't, <laughs> and if we can't respect that and admire that, then we've probably lost all sense of humanity. Very interesting, because you, you, you two are coming from, well, what I thought would be each other's position, but uh, that's that kind of programme today. Yeah.